Welcome to BandDirector.com. My name is Dr. Darren Schmidt. I'm a chiropractor and naturopath, and I help people improve their health primarily through uh, whole food nutrition. But I'm also a chiropractor, and I'd like to talk about pain, whether it's shoulder pain, neck, low back pain. Uh, I would just encourage you to seek out some sort of a physical treatment. It could be physical therapy, it could be chiropractic, exercise, massage, stretching, some sort of modality where you're trying to address the cause of your pain. Rather than popping pills like uh, painkillers. Painkillers are very damaging to the liver and to the kidneys and the number one reason why people need liver transplants in this country is simply due to uh, painkillers like acetaminophen. So I would encourage you, if you have a chronic pain condition, I encourage you to seek out some physical modality to try to get to the cause of your health condition. Now, if you're a band director and you have your arms waving in the air a lot, um, oftentimes that will lead to mid-back pain. Just, so just as a side note, being a chiropractor, I know that if you have mid-back pain, chiropractic works really well for that. Now I'm going to talk about posture, standing and sitting. So regarding standing posture, if all your body, if all your muscles are relaxed, the um, what happens is the shoulders come forward and the head is forward like this, and it's kind of like you're drooping on your on your ligaments, and your your body's kind of hanging on this on the skeletal frame. The way, and this I, this is typically seen in not just in band, but like when you see people walking in the mall, everybody has poor posture because we sit a lot and we, we drive a lot and our head is forward, our shoulders are forward. And this is a common, uh, common uh, factor seen in posture. So the way you, re you have good posture from a standing position, you, what you do is you tighten up your butt muscles and your quads right here. So you just tighten up the quads and the butt. What happens is your hips come forward a bit like this and then, and then you get a proper curve in your spine and your shoulders can come back and then your head comes back. So here's the difference, watch closely. This is, this is a slouch. And then I just tighten up those muscles that I mentioned. Like this, and then, the, and then it's easier and it's more relaxing to, to have the chest come forward, the shoulders come back, and then you can have your head in a good position. So let me show you this, the seated posture. So right now, this chair is ergonomically incorrect. Let's say I'm playing an instrument like the flute. I'm going to play on this side. And the music is in front of me, so I'm leaning forward, trying to read the music, and my head is forward, and my shoulders are slouched in, like this. And this prevents good lung capacity. So what's, what's wrong here is that the knees are higher than the hips. All you have to do is correct this, and then the rest of the posture comes uh, norm naturally. So what I'm going to do is bring the hips higher than the knees, like that. And with this chair, I kind of have to lean. I kind of have to sit at the edge. So now here's the hips. The knees are lower, and then it's it's naturally um, easy for me to have my chest come out and hold the flute here. And uh, my chin is not forward trying to read the music. I'm sitting up nice and straight and I have good lung capacity. So <clears throat> the bottom line is for sitting posture, the knees go below the hips and then everything else will correct it itself. Right now I want to talk about carpal tunnel syndrome, which is a repetitive stress that it hurts people's wrist right here and it can go into the hand. And uh, carpal tunnel syndrome is primarily caused by the overconsumption of white sugar and white flour, which then causes a deficiency in the B vitamin complex. The, the B vitamin complex is actually uh, a lot of different B vitamins put together, and you can go to a health food store and find a bottle that says B complex and buy that. And when you go to the health food store, ask the person there who's in the aisle who works there, Ask them for the best quality B vitamin complex supplement that they have and they'll show it to you. So if you have carpal tunnel syndrome, there's two things to do. Reduce the amount of white sugar and white flour. And the second thing is to buy 
a bottle of B complex vitamins and it may take two months or four months for that to go away but uh, the success rate of, of getting rid of carpal tunnel syndrome is very high when you do those two actions.